I'm going to demonstrate the usage of the Arthrex Knee Scorpion, a reusable all-inside meniscus repair device. This device allows one-handed operation by passing sutures through the meniscus, and then it performs self-retrieval of the suture tails. It has a low profile, allowing for passage into tight spaces in the knee. The jaw is 3.2 millimeters in depth and 4.6 millimeters in width. It's designed for passage of 2O or O fiber wire suture as per surgeon preference. The reusable knee scorpion utilizes a sterile disposable needle similar to the other type of scorpion suture shuttle devices. The types of tears that this device is ideal for are radial, flap, horizontal, and red-white bucket handle tears. This device is absolutely essential for posterior root tear repairs as it allows easy suture passage in multiple different configurations prior to transosseous suture passage. This is not the ideal instrument for meniscal capsular tears or red-red tears that are at the far periphery as we need sufficient peripheral tissue for adequate suture passage and purchase in the meniscus. For those types of tears, I would suggest either an all-inside repair with the Arthrex Speed Cinch or an arthroscopic inside-out technique with the Arthrex 2O meniscus repair suture tied over the capsule through accessory posteromedial or posterolateral incisions. This medial meniscus tear is a horizontal type and extends to the periphery, therefore it is a vascular type. The periphery of the meniscus is stable. We then proceed with the repair. The slightly upcurved jaw allows the device to easily pass over the meniscus. For vertical type suture configurations, it is recommended to place the posterior suture limb first. The fast pass technology allows the knee scorpion to retrieve the suture easily. As the knee scorpion is reintroduced into the cannula, pull slight tension on the other suture limb to prevent it from inadvertently becoming entangled or entrapped in the jaw. When the device is positioned for optimal suture passage, simply squeeze the trigger to pass the suture. An arthroscopic suture knot of the surgeon's choice can be performed with the usage of a knot pusher. My preference is for a Revo type knot. It is helpful to try to keep the suture knot toward the periphery of the meniscus if possible. After the first suture is tied, subsequent sutures may be placed. Care should be taken to avoid snaring the other completed sutures to prevent accidental cutting of them. Each suture is passed and tied prior to proceeding with another suture. After passage of sufficient sutures, the meniscus is assessed for repair stability and knot security. This meniscus was repaired with three sutures. Two were placed with the knot above the meniscus. The most anterior suture was placed in an inverted fashion such that the knot is below the meniscus. This may be possible in some knees if the compartment is not tight.